Tonight, Mobile Police investigating a horrific scene, what they think was a murder-suicide. Police say the victim, 33-year-old Laquisha Towner, was shot multiple times and set on fire on Osage Street early Sunday morning. Her boyfriend, Derek Rimbert, was discovered dead inside a burning car in the driveway. As NBC 15's Andrea Ramey reports, autopsy results could reveal if his death was intentional or accidental. It was just really horrible. It was horrible, and it's extremely sad. Neighbors are stunned by what happened here Sunday morning. The site of this Osage Street home visibly damaged by a fire police say 48-year-old Derek Rembert started. Ms. Towner was shot multiple times before being doused with some type of flammable accelerant. She exited the vehicle uh, on fire and a nearby person seen her and immediately responded to give her aid. Chief Paul Prine says before Towner died at the hospital, she identified Rembert as her attacker. Court records show he has a history of domestic violence. A January complaint says he pointed a gun at Towner and another woman and threatened to shoot them if they left the home. We would encourage any uh, domestic violence uh, abuse victims to come forward if they need help. Prine says Towner had been out with friends and family Saturday night and had voluntarily left with Rembert. Prine says her family came to Rembert's home to check on her and found the couple in a car talking around 7.30 Sunday morning. They were told to give them a few minutes uh, to talk and so the family members decided to wait in their vehicle out at the road. A few moments later they heard what they believed to be popping sounds. Rembert was found dead inside the car. It's unclear if he took his own life or died accidentally in the fire. Police do not believe Towner shot him. A neighbor and childhood friend says she can't believe the news. It was devastating because I've known this gentleman since he was a child. You know, basically all the families here in this neighborhood, we've been here for years. Prine says their condolences go out to the children left behind. Prine says Towner leaves behind four. Andrea Ramey, NBC 15 News. Remember, there is help available for domestic violence victims. You can reach Penelope House's 24-hour crisis hotline. The number is right there on your screen.